Thank you showed you. us a beautiful living room, and of course, most of us have a coffee table in our space. But when you have a coffee table that's this big, it can get a little bit confusing when it comes to styling. It can be. It's hard to make it look this good. So maybe we can talk about some of the rules, the loose rules that you follow to uh, style your coffee tables. Well, when you're styling coffee tables, dining tables, anything like that, you want to use multiples of three. Twos are good on a mantle when you have them on either side, but really mm -hmm. you want multiples of three. So I'm showing you a variety of things in multiples of three and you want height. You don't want everything at the same level. Mm -hmm. So what we did was all, everything on this table is from LT, as is the set, this Beautiful. great set. And um, we did these gold candlesticks. And again, I want to show you how gold is not sort of traditional. It can be modern and it has the matte finish with the polished on the on the top. Again, the three, and they're even at different heights. Yeah. And then I always love coffee table books. I, I mean, I have so many books. It's unbelievable. And then mixing up some other things, bringing in some color. We brought in some color from the pillows, and that's how we change up a space seasonally. So you, you get rid of this, you get rid of the pillows, you can do different colors in the spring, in the winter. This mm -hmm. is a really good way to get inject color and trend right. for a very modest price. So when people talk about how can I update paint, accessories, pillows, throws, that's where you get that pop of color. Switch out the colors Switch and you, the you color. have a whole new look. Now I love the cube that you well, have this, underneath. That's a smart thing. This is a big design trick. We always buy these glass risers. You can get mm -hmm. them in glass or you get them in lucite. First of all, they make anything look important. <laughs> so you can buy a piece of junk and put it on this and it looks, it looks like a museum piece. So you just do that and you go like that, you're like, oh. Oh my wow. God. That's very significant. It can't be ten dollars. <laughs> the riser's worth more than the thing. It is actually. So, so but um, I also like to nush all the time, so I like bowls. So I like <laughs> cheesies and popcorn and things like that. Right. So again, we wanted to raise this up because this would look lost here. Yeah. So we, we raise that up, but I again, a riser is your best friend. And then we're going to take these off. So you can switch the look completely. Yeah, and if you're thinking about going from fall to the holiday season or from the holiday season to spring. Completely. And, and you know what I love also is, and I'm going to show you some boxes. And I love boxes. And I love going to markets and picking up antique boxes and things like that. So here we've got, let me just move this around, these great boxes. I now the thing those. I love about boxes are they're the best place to hide remote controls and coasters and things like that. Yep. So I always think every table should have a box and just um, when you're going shopping, take a remote control with you. <laughs> to make sure, pull it out of the purse. Smart. Isn't that smart? Yes, because who knows if all 17 are going to fit in there, and you oh, know, know you have that many. And I still can't get my TV to work. <laughs> so, and then again, three of these, these are all from Hudson's Bay Company, and I love this faceted glass we're looking Beautiful. at. Beautiful. Colors, look at those smoky colors. They're great for fall. Gorgeous. And then this one again, that mixture of shiny metallic. Mm -hmm. We're looking at these gold metallics with the gray. And again, doing silver. And you can do new boxes like this and even mix them up with uh, vintage boxes. I love going to markets and vintage boxes. Yeah, that's very nice. But this is a great way to change it up. So the candles for one look, this for another look. But have fun with it. But don't be afraid to fill it. But you want multiples of the same. You wouldn't want a box and a candlestick and a vase and a bowl. So when we had before a bunch of bowls, mm -hmm. here a bunch of boxes and vases, keep it multiples of the same. And then it looks perfect. You know, one of the first rules you taught me when I first started hosting this show is when you're going to do multiples, go with an odd number. Correct. Something about it is pleasing and visual to the eye. So you don't do two, four, six. No, this you do wouldn't three, work. three, five, seven. Yes. You don't look like, look at that. It's like Something's missing It's here. lonely. It's lonely. And Something's then you do wrong. this and you get that great height. And again, even with there, we have two of these, but we've raised one up on the box. Yeah. On the books. So you get that That one, that two, height. three. Yes, yeah, exactly. very nice. All right.